I have a way to do it. Qin Wei excitedly said, really? No, there is no free lunch in the world. Besides, the dignified 100,000 year soul beast, the king in the star doe great forest, why talk to me with a 33rd level soul venerable? If I were you, I would have killed him in one move. Wouldn't it be more worry-free? No clues can be found, and no one knows yet, wouldn't it be more worry-free? The sky green cow python seemed to see Qin Wei's mind, don't worry, I know what you are thinking. You and I don't know each other, so how can I help you? The sky was surrounded by dark clouds, the lake began to boil violently, and the earth was trembling violently. Everyone in Shrek who had just entered the Star Doe Great Forest looking for the third spirit ring for Oscar also noticed this powerful aura. Zhao Wou Qi quickly opened own martial soul, blocked the students behind own, and looked around vigilantly. But after a while, that powerful force disappeared without a trace. This allowed Shrek teachers and students to relax. Tang San looked at Zhao Wuji, who was sweating on his forehead, and said, Teacher Zhao, what is the powerful pressure just now? Oscar, hiding behind the tree, tremblingly said, Yes, this coercion is really overwhelming. Zhao Wou Qi shook his head and said, I have never seen this pressure. There are already many powerful soul beasts and too many unsolved mysteries in the Star Do Great Forest. Just now, it should be a fierce battle between two powerful soul beasts. The coercion, everyone stay closer to me, don't get lost. The others didn't know the coercion just now, but Xiao Wu was very clear. Xiao Wu looked at the central lake of the sky blue bull python and the titan giant ape, looking worriedly. Xiao Wu, what's the matter with you? Tang San awakened Xiao Wu with that cry. Xiao Wu shook her head and said, Brother, it's nothing, let's go. Tang San looked at Xiao Wu who was absent-minded, No, this girl must be hiding something from me. On the other side, Qin Wei, who was in the center of the lake, looked at the cow head and the sky green cow python in the python body. I can't help but sigh in my heart, worthy of being the emperor in the forest. The pressure he brought was so terrifying that even the earth was trembling violently. Qin Wei bit his scalp and walked forward, looking at the own sky blue python. I don't know. What can you do? And why do you help me? It's the first time you and I meet. The sky green cow python stared at Qin Wei, and said, I smelled the breath of the old man in your body, so I chose to help you. The one who is here is the titan great ape who caused the trouble first, and our soul beasts are also careful about right and wrong. Unlike you humans, who are insatiable. After hearing what Tian Qing Niu Python said, Qin Wei also felt that there was some truth to it, but I had the aura of an old man in me, could it be sister Xiao Wu's? The sky green cow python looked at Qin Wei and said, you can spread your wings. Qin Wei walked to the side, running his own spirit power, and the bloodthirsty dark wings opened behind him. But there was an obvious crack on the left wing, which greatly affected the balance. The horns of the sky green cow python were exuding blue energy, and Qin Wei could clearly feel the huge energy. Boy, catch it. After that, the sky blue bull python transmits that huge blue energy to the wings behind Qin Wei. Qin Wei can clearly feel the changes in the wings behind him, no, it should be evolution. Qin Wei quickly sat up in the lotus position, feeling the presence of energy behind him. This energy is like a flame, burning his own back continuously, and the whole person is about to be evaporated. Qin Wei gritted his teeth and continued to persevere. After being forged like a fire, Qin Wei finally absorbed this huge force. The wings on the back have also undergone a great change, from the original black to the current blue flame just like a blue flame, and at the same time, you can feel the huge energy lurking above. Thank you, Forest Emperor. Qin Wei thanked the sky green cow python. Don't thank me, don't you still have something to do? Go ahead. After Qin Wei thanked the sky green bull python cupped fist again, his wings swiftly moved behind him, went straight to Shaohan, and continued to set off toward Heaven Do City. Second, you can come out after watching it for so long. The sky green bull python said to the giant giant ape who had been hiding in the forest and peeking. The titan great ape walked out of the forest and turned to own Dage without answering, saying, Dage, why do you want to help this human? Is it because he has the breath of Xiao Wu's sister? The sky green bull python looked at the calm lake, not all, but I feel like I have fallen in love with this boy, so I helped him. The titan great ape looked in the direction of Qin Wei's disappearance, are you hitting it? No wonder I could smash it down with a stone. Qin Wei on the horizon clearly felt that the own ability brought by the sky blue bull python was far less than this, and it had not yet been fully developed. The wings on the back have become much tougher than before, and the speed has doubled. In this way, he could successfully reach Heaven Do City before the start of the auction. Watching the forest below gradually disappear, replaced by endless fields and smoked farmhouses. Finally flew out of the forest, and still missed the days in Shenghen village before, unfettered. 
Old man, I don't know how far is Tiando City. Chin Wei put away his wings and went to the door of the farmhouse, looking at the old man lying on the chair and asked. The old man looked at Chin Wei, young man, you're not a local, right? Chin Wei nodded and said, yes, I'm from Soto City. There are important things to do when I go to Tiando City. Can you tell me how far Tiando City is? The old man stood up and pointed to the huge vague city in the distance and said, that's Skydo City, but Skydo City has been a bit uneasy recently. Some bad things have happened, young man, you have to pay attention. Before the old man finished speaking, Chin Wei took the lead and rushed towards the distant Heaven Do City. Thank you for pointing the way, goodbye old man. The old man looked at Chin Wei who was leaving, and shook his head to sit on the recliner, and said, boy, it's still too young. After 10 minutes of running, Chin Wei finally arrived at Tiando City, the capital of the Tiando Empire. Looking at the majestic city wall, the city wall is about a hundred meters high and is one of the most prosperous cities on the mainland. Soldiers wearing armors coming and going on the wall are patrolling. They are holding spears, and you can see from the aura on them that this is a disciplined and battle-tested team. Two teams of soldiers stood on either side of the towering city gate, carefully interrogating everyone who entered the city. When Chin Wei approached the city gate, a soldier stopped him. Stop. A soldier holding a spear came to Chin Wei and prevented Chin Wei from entering the city. Chin Wei looked at the soldier incomprehensibly. He was a good citizen, and he was only 12 years old, but he had never done anything to be a criminal. The soldier pointed to Chin Wei's dirty clothes and said, You see everyone else is very clean, but yours is so dirty. Say, who are you? Chin Wei looked at him speechlessly, and pointed his own soldier with a spear in front of him. Am I not getting dirty? If it weren't for the Titan Great Ape, I wouldn't have been so dirty. Also, you don't need to do this to me. Chin Wei was about to speak. A general in silver armor came to the soldier and asked, What happened? The soldier pointed to Chin Wei and said, Captain Roxon, that's him. I think he is messy and behaving strangely. At first sight, he is not from our Heaven Do Empire, so I stopped him from asking. Captain Roxon stepped forward to look at Chin Wei, but he was messed up as the soldier said, What is your name? Where are you from? What is the purpose of coming to my Tiando city? Chin Wei looked at the captain who spoke politely to him, and said, Hello, captain. My name is Chin Wei. It is important for me to come to Tiando Empire from Soto City. Please do it for your convenience. Roxon looked at Chin Wei in front of him, and the more he looked at him, the more he felt something was wrong. How can an ordinary person come in this dress? Then can you show me the certificate of Tianduzi issued by the Tiando Empire? Roxon stretched out his hand. Tiando Zimin certificate. When did this certificate come out? I have been a soul master for six years, so why haven't I heard of it? Have you been out in the wild for a long time? Chin Wei honestly said, I don't have one. Roxon made a gesture to the guards on both sides, and a group of guards quickly surrounded Chin Wei. At the same time, he pointed at Chin Wei with a spear in his hand and waited for Roxon to give an order. General Roxon, I am really a citizen of Heaven Do, Chin Wei shouted. Roxon snorted coldly. Anyone who reaches this point will say that. Come on, take it. Seeing his spear gradually approaching him, Chin Wei was not the kind of person who was waiting to die. The spider spears turned into both hands, resisting the spears that were slashing from the top down, and the huge momentum quickly pressed Chin Wei's feet into a big pit. The third spirit ability, Spider Emperor's Body Protection. A purple transparent protective shield appeared beside Chin Wei. Fly out the soldiers around him. Roxon drew out his huge sword and pointed at Chin Wei, and said, what a thief, he said you are not, let me take you personally. After he waved the giant sword in his hand and slashed towards Chin Wei, the eight spider spears behind Chin Wei crossed this strike. But the giant sword was too heavy, and the huge impact made Chin Wei back several meters. No, that's not the power of the giant sword, it's the fluctuation of soul power. Could it be that the captain in front of him is a soul master? Then two yellows, two purples and three blacks appeared at Roxon's feet, this, Chin Wei looked at the opponent's spirit ring configuration, which was a spirit sage. The Heaven Do Empire is really a big family, and let a soul sage come to see the city gate. Accept your fate. Just as Roxon was about to attack, looking at the token in Chin Wei's hand, Roxon immediately accepted the attack and knelt down and said, participate in your royal highness. The surrounding soldiers also knelt toward the token in Chin Wei's hand following Roxon's knees. Fortunately, before Roxon launched the offensive, Chin Wei thought of Xue Qing handing in the own token six years ago. Thinking, this is Xue Qingyi's token, and in addition, he is now the prince of the Heaven Do Empire, most of his things will be known. Chin Wei couldn't help but took out the token that had been in the soul guide ring for six years. 
What I didn't expect was that this small token had such a big effect, which could be seen by looking at the soldiers kneeling on the ground. Chin Wei coughed. Get up. After hearing Chin Wei's instructions, the soldiers stood up all at once. Roxan stepped forward and said respectfully, Please forgive this distinguished guest. I don't know if you have the token of your royal highness, but instead beat you up. Please forgive me for any recklessness. Is Chin Wei a caregiver? Obviously not. Nothing, since the misunderstanding is resolved. Can I enter the city now? Roxan followed the gate with his left hand, making a welcome gesture, please. After Chin Wei entered the city gate, Roxan greeted a soldier to come to him. You go and inform his royal highness that the person holding the token at the time has appeared again. After receiving the instructions, the soldiers ran towards the Heaven Do Imperial Palace quickly. Chin Wei who entered the city was inevitably attracted by the prosperous scene in the city. The previous Soto city couldn't be compared with the Tiando city in front of him. Chin Wei walked to the door of a clothing store, and Own was very dirty due to the Titan Great Ape. This was misunderstood by the guards, and besides, seeing him in Tiando Auction City, he would definitely not let me in. After all, everyone who can enter it is noble or tycoon. Chin Wei, who hadn't stepped into the clothing store, was rejected by the waiter at the door. Let's go. We don't entertain beggars here, nor are people like you able to come in. The waiter expelled Chin Wei. Chin Wei glanced at his own dress, but just as the waiter in front of him said, he was no different from a beggar. If it's tattered, it can't be said. It can only be very dirty, with mud all over it. Chin Wei looked at the waiter with a fierce face in front of him, and immediately took out the medal issued by the Marshal Soul Hall that was able to represent the Soul Master. The waiter rubbed his eyes, and after seeing that the person on the ground was a Soul Master, his attitude changed 180 degrees. The waiter tidied his clothes and said respectfully, Sir Soul Master, please. On the Duluo continent, the status of Soul Masters is respected. It is said that everyone has their own martial soul, but only one third of the mainland has soul power. There are very few who can become Soul Masters, precisely because of the scarcity of Soul Masters and their role in turning the tide of battle on the battlefield. So no matter which city in Duluo continent, the Soul Master is very respected. As everyone knows, after Chin Wei entered the store, a black figure followed silently behind him. At the moment in the Heaven Do Palace, a soldier is kneeling on one knee in front of an elegant-looking young man. The young man has a face that Diva can't match, with blonde hair, slender fingers, and gorgeous white gold clothes. Every action is it is extremely noble. Are you true? Did that person show up? The boy looked at the kneeling soldier. The soldier bowed his head and said, Yes, His Royal Highness. I waited for him to enter the city and arrange manpower to follow that person. I was waiting for His Royal Highness to arrive. The person in front of the soldiers called His Royal Highness the Prince was Shui Qing six years ago. Shui Qing waved his hand and said, You go down first, I'll be there soon. After the soldier saluted respectfully, he slowly withdrew from the palace. Shui Qing looked at the lively street outside the window, and the white gauze in his hand reappeared, muttering, It's been six years, how good is it? After Qin Wei revealed his own soul master status, he immediately received a warm reception from the shop owner. From the perspective of the shop owner, it is a great honor for him to serve a soul master, not to mention buying clothes in his clothing store. After measuring each size of Qin Wei, a large group of waiters holding delicate clothes came to Qin Wei. They all hold clothes in their hands, each of which is luxurious and full of aristocratic atmosphere. It is indeed the capital of the Tiando Empire, with all kinds of styles. Qin Wei picked it up for a long time, and finally found his favorite costume. Qin Wei tried on the clothes and walked out of the fitting room. The eyes of all the customers gathered on Qin Wei's body, and Qin Wei's figure was black and purple which contrasted with the color of his martial soul when he was possessed. His slender figure has reached about 1.75 meters at the age of 12, his deep eyes are as clear as the sea, and his facial features are so beautiful. Although there is a 2 centimeter scar at the corner of the eye, it is not affected at all, but it gives people a sense of security. Chin Wei jumped up and down, pulling his limbs constantly. This dress seems to be customized for myself, which is very convenient. He came to the boss and said, Boss, I want this dress, how much is it? The boss looked at the handsome young man in front of him, and he was completely different from what he was before. People depend on clothes and horses on saddles, and that's true. The boss respectfully said, This soul master, you can see it as the glory of our shop. However, this dress is a bit expensive and requires 2,000 gold soul coins. Since you are here for the first time in the shop, I will give you a call. 10% off. How about 1,008? Chin Wei held the gold card and handed it to the boss. When the boss saw the gold card, he looked at the gold card with fire in his eyes. 
In the entire Tiando Empire, either nobles or merchants possess this card. Except for these two kinds of people, I have never seen anyone own it. But the boy in front of him has this card again, which is inconsistent with the image just now. It seems that he cannot be judged by his appearance. The boss took the gold card with trembling hands, and swiped it on the machine specializing in collecting the amount. After showing that the payment was successful, he respectfully took the gold card over his head with both hands and placed it in front of Qin Wei. Qin Wei single-handedly ended up owning a golden card. As expected, a high status and powerful person is the king of this world. Under the personal escort of the boss, Qin Wei left the shop. But what appeared in front of Qin Wei's eyes made him stop. In front of Qin Wei's eyes was a luxurious carriage, with four white horse-drawn carriages in front of it, and a soldier in armor in front of the carriage, holding a horse rope and holding the carriage. The door of the carriage opened, and what came out of the carriage was the owner of Qin Wei's token, Shui Qing. Shui Qing looked at Qin Wei in front of him, and looked carefully, yes, it's you. I wonder if you still remember me. Qin Wei looked at the familiar Shui Qing, as if he had seen it somewhere before, and as if he had forgotten. By the way, I remembered. She was exactly the same as when she first met six years ago. Time never left a trace on her face. It's you. Qin Wei looked at Shui Qing in front of him, the same as before. Shui Qing looked at Qin Wei and wondered. Where have you been all these years? If it weren't for the soldiers guarding the city to tell me, I wouldn't be able to find you. Qin Wei looked at Shui Qing, who cared about him, that he had nothing to do except save her life. Did I take her clothes off and hold her grudges? Still, feelings? Looking at Qin Wei who was thinking, Shui Qing smiled and said. It seems that I am too impatient, so how about we get on the carriage and talk slowly? Where Qin Wei happened to be missing, looking at Shui Qing in front of him, it seemed that the other party was not malicious, so it's better to be with her first and try. At the invitation of Shui Qing, Qin Wei walked into the carriage, and Shui Qing was right behind. Qin Wei and Shui Qing in the carriage sat face to face. The inside of the carriage was very calm, and the sudden appearance of Qin Wei surprised each other so much that the two of them kept staring at the scenery outside the carriage window. From time to time, the eyes of each other will touch each other unintentionally. Shui Qing took the lead. You are coming to Tiando City this time, but what's the matter? Qin Wei looked at the scenery outside the window and said lightly, I'm here to participate in the Tiando Empire auction. Because there is something I like at the auction, this is why I came to Tiando City. It turns out that it's like this, just tell me what you need. Qin Wei shook his head and said, no, I'm not used to asking others. By the way, has Tiando Auction City already started bidding? Qin Wei asked, looking at Shui Qing. Shui Qing nodded and said, yes, Tiando Auction City has already begun. Then Shui Qing faced the driving soldier and said, go to the Tiando Auction site. After the soldiers heard the order, they drove in the direction of Tiando Auction City. The Tiando Auction site is located in the capital of the Tiando Empire, which can be described by an inch of gold. This shows how high the status of Tiando City is in the entire Tiando City, and the background behind it is even more unfathomable. The auction city has a semi-circular shape, and the entire auction site has a white exterior, and there are four beautiful girls with very good figures standing at the door. At first glance, these young girls have been professionally trained. They are about 1.75 meters tall and have extremely symmetrical figures. Although they are not beautiful, they are extremely beautiful. The floor-to-ceiling dress fully shows the curves of Meow Man, the snow-white dress is close to the body, and the scenery of mountains and rivers is great. Then he drove slowly in the carriage of Qin Wei and Shui Qing and came to the door of the auction house. Qin Wei and Shui Qing slowly got out of the carriage after the guard opened the door. Qin Wei looked at the auction house in front of him. Don't let other people take what you want. The four women at the door looked at the two people who got off the carriage. They were all dressed in gorgeous clothes, and they all knew the carriage. Only members of the royal family are eligible to ride, but you must not neglect it. Hastily stepped forward and greeted the two of them to enter. Qin Wei and Shui Qing walked into the auction room. The inside was not magnificent, but milky white marble on the ground. There are all kinds of precious sculptures all around, and any one of them outside is an amazing price. The two young girls who led the way brought Qin Wei and Shui Qing into the auction scene. The auction center is located on the second floor. It takes eight stairs to enter from the lobby. The center of the auction house gives the impression of a large auditorium, with a round table in the center. The waiter took the two to the black VIPs, and only those over a million were eligible to be seated. At the scene, Shui Qing met an acquaintance. Teacher, why are you here? Shui Qing respectfully saluted the middle-aged man in front. 
The middle-aged man was stunned for a while, looked at Shui Ching in front of him, and said unexpectedly, Ching, I didn't expect to see you here. I remember you never come to this place. Shui Ching smiled and said, Teacher, I came with an old friend this time. Old friend. The middle-aged man only noticed that Qin Wei beside Shui Ching, someone who could be called an old friend by the prince, probably had some skills. The middle-aged man looked at Qin Wei like a handsome young man, with deep eyes and delicate eyes, and he was a character. Qin Wei looked at the person in front of him who was called a teacher by Shui Ching. It seemed that he was Ning Fengzi, the sect leader of the Seven Treasure Glazed Glass Sect. Qin Wei stepped forward to salute and said, Hello, my name is Qin Wei, his royal highness, old friend. Ning Feng chuckled and said, Hello, young man. I am glad to meet you. Your name is Qin Wei, right? If it is not recommended, I will call you Xiao Wei. Qin Wei smiled and said, You are my old friend's teacher and my elder, so you should be so. Ning Fengzi looked at the young man in front of him, coping with ease and full of confidence. Looking at his age, he did not expect to be so mature and sophisticated. Xueqing said, Xiao Wei, are you going to buy something at Tiando auction this time? Qin Wei looked at the auction list given by the waiter just now. The list was ninth from the top, which clearly recorded the cold heart and iron spirit. Qin Wei pointed at the cold heart iron spirit on the list, and said, that's it. Shui Qing took the list from Qin Wei suspiciously, and looked at Qin Wei's finger, Han Xin Tai Jing. What do you want this thing? Although this thing is rare, the price is very high. Just the top one. The starting price has reached 10,000 gold soul coins. At this moment, Ning Fengzi also looked at Qin Wei with a look of confusion. Qin Wei explained. I am a blacksmith myself. Recently, during the casting period, I lost a vital core position. That's why I didn't come to the sky far away, from Du Cheng. Oh? Blacksmith? Ning Fengzi looked at Qin Wei. Blacksmith is undoubtedly the cheapest job on the mainland. Both civilians and nobles looked down upon it. Shui Qing was surprised. Xiao Wei, are you a blacksmith? Qin Wei said, what's the matter? I'm just a hobby. This time I came mainly with a cold heart. As long as I buy it, I will immediately return to the college. After all, I also asked for leave. College, I remember you are 12 years old this year. What academy did you join? Shui Qing asked. Do you want to tell her? Saying so early will be detrimental to my future development. In addition, if she told her, she would definitely send someone to monitor it. For the sake of safety, still. Qin Wei waved his hand and smiled. It's nothing, it's nothing. It's just a little known academy, it's not worth mentioning, not worth mentioning. Shui Qing looked at Qin Wei who waved his hand, and it seemed that he still concealed something from me. Yes, after all, this is the first time we have met in six years. Then, one by one auction items were brought to the stage. When the cold-hearted iron spirit arrived at the auction stage, the host lifted the opening ceremony. A violent cold air spread, and the temperature of the entire auction house dropped suddenly. Qin Wei turned the purple magic pupil and looked towards the cold heart iron spirit on the stage. The whole body was black, shiny black, only the size of a human head, and not even the slightest impurities. It seemed that he had come to the right place this time. Shui Qing looked at Qin Wei and found that Qin Wei's eyes were glowing with purple light. It seems that Qin Wei is very mysterious, with many unknown secrets in him. The host said, This is a five jin cold heart iron spirit, the hardest metal on the mainland. Because it is rare, the starting price is 10,000 gold soul coins, and each increase cannot be lower than 2,000 gold soul coins. Now, start shooting. The moment when the host's hammer fell, 12,000 gold soul coins. 14,000 gold soul coins, 16,000 gold soul coins. Listening to the rising amount, the host excitedly said, Is there any higher price for 16,000 gold soul coins? 18,000 gold soul coins, Qin Wei said at this moment, holding the auction sign. The host looked at Qin Wei's position and said, that VIP bid 18,000 gold soul coins, is there anyone present who is higher than this? Looking at the quiet auction room, the host placed the hammer in his hand on the hammer bank and knocked it. 18,000 gold soul coins, once, knocked again. 18,000 gold soul coins, twice, there is no bid. Everyone did not speak, and there were some businessmen and aristocrats among them. Only in the hands of the blacksmith can the iron spirits of cold heart be able to glow and heat for these people who are usually idle and pampered. Buy it back, no place to put it. Do not buy, and have no face. Therefore, the three previous bids were made unintentionally by the rich. The purpose is to bring out a person with a higher price than their increase. Obviously, this is also a little game between the rich and powerful. It's just that these people don't even know that the cold heart iron spirit is scrap iron in their hands. But in the hands of skilled craftsmen, it can become an artifact. 
at a critical moment, the situation can be reversed. Seeing that no one increased the price, the host finally took the final shot. 18,000 gold soul coins, three times. Deal. I declare that Hanshin Tiejing belongs to the distinguished guest of number 156. The number 156 is the number on the auction board that Qin Wei just held up. Qin Wei turned to Xueqing River after getting the cold heart iron spirit. Shui Dage, this trip to the auction site, I think it is over. I have already got the things, and I have to thank you for your carriage, otherwise I will not, get what I want so quickly. Shui Qing stunned slightly, and said, Brother Wei, don't you live in Tiando City for some time? As Dage, I haven't fulfilled my landlord friendship yet. This. Qin Wei hesitated. He had originally planned to arrive at Heaven Do City in two days from Shrek Academy. Unexpectedly, the Titan Great Ape would disrupt all my plans. I was in a coma in the Star Do Forest for one day and one night, and the day I set off was two days. It's the third day now, thanks to the help of the Azure Cattle Python, otherwise I must have passed the Hanshin Iron Spirit. In the next step, I plan to go directly to Jiangshin City and find Senior, the world's first master craftsman. It took another two days to go to Jiangshin City, and four days back and forth. After that, he had to fly back to Tiando City, and then fly back to Shrek Academy from Tiando City, which would take another day. Together, it has exceeded the seven-day deadline I promised to the Dean. It seems that Jiangshin City can't go, since it can't go to Jiangshin City. It's better to go back to Shrek Academy earlier. I wanna wait for me to go back. Xiao San's eight spider soul bone will appear too. Make an early decision to go back, after all, Tiando City is the capital of a country. There are many people with mixed eyes, and the Xueqing in front of him is even more eye-catching. Ning Fengzi next to him is unfathomable. He looks scheming, who knows what the hell are you making now? Before Qin Wei could speak, Shui Qing said in advance. Before you go back, don't you have a drink with me tonight? You and my brothers haven't seen each other for six years, this time you have to give Dej a face. Shui Qing smiled. Drink wine? I think it's the Hongmen banquet you set up for me. When the time comes, the wine will be poured and the people will be poured. If you play my words while I am drunk, then I will lose more than the gains. Qin Wei was about to refuse, and suddenly the lot on the auction stage attracted his attention. It was a broken sickle, it was rusty, and some places had been cracked. And the old sickle had only the head, but the lower body was missing. At first glance, it was passed down from a long, long time ago. I just don't know myself. When I saw this sickle, there was a voice in my heart. I have been telling myself that I must buy that thing. Qin Wei, sinking his heart, looked at the sickle placed on the auction stand. The host introduced. Dear guests, what we are going to auction next is a sickle obtained from a ruin in the depths of the Sunset Forest. The ruins were analyzed by the Empire's professionals. The history of the Doe Empire is still long. The broken sickle in front of you was discovered from the ruins. After reading it, our appraisers agreed that this was just an ordinary handicraft, which was worth collecting. Therefore, we can take this opportunity to it was auctioned off. It's low price of 50,000 soul gold coins, and each increase in price must not be less than 10,000 soul gold coins. Now, the auction starts. 60,000 gold soul coins, 70,000 gold soul coins, 85,000 gold soul coins. As more and more people quoted, its price eventually rose directly to 114,000 gold soul coins. Moreover, this value is still growing. Shui Qing looked at Qin Wei, who was staring at the sickle, and said lightly, What? Is Brother Wei interested in this sickle? When Qin Wei heard Shui Qingyi's words, he left the upper sickle and said, I feel curious, Dage, you misunderstood. As soon as Qin Wei's voice fell, the host had already started hammering the second hammer, 12,000 gold soul coins, twice. Who else will bid higher? Hearing this, Qin Wei quickly picked up the auction card in his hand and shouted, 130,000 gold soul coins. Hearing Qin Wei's words, everyone on the spot was dumbfounded especially the person who reported 129,000 gold soul coins. When the hammer was about to fall, Qin Wei suddenly shot out. In the end, Qin Wei harvested the broken sickle at the price of 130,000 gold soul coins. I said, Brother Wei, you are really taken aback as your brother. You said you don't want it, but now you suddenly kill it. Shui Qing patted his chest and said. Qin Wei scratched his head and said embarrassedly, I'm sorry, Shui Dage. Be careful next time, and next time. It seems that I missed something wonderful. Ning Fengzi asked when he walked between the two. Teacher, where did you go just now? Shui Qing asked. Ning Feng laughed and said, I just went to the door to pick up someone. Hearing Ning Fengji's words, Qin Wei looked at the old man behind Ning Fengzi. The old man had a childlike face, 
his eyes were sharp, and Qin Wei felt that there was even a trace of murderousness around him. The old man also looked at Qin Wei. The two of them faced each other, and both felt the murderous presence of each other. Ning Fengzi looked at the gazes of the two of them and coughed. Alleviating the tension, Uncle Jian, what's the matter? Uncle Jian, it seems that the opposite is elder, the two great guardians of the seven treasure glazed glass sect, Sword Du Luo Chenqin. Qin Wei moved his gaze away from Jian Du Luo, and then continued to look at the scene. Sword Du Luo then gave up looking at Qin Wei and turned to Ning Fengzi and said, It's nothing, it's just been a long time since I came out. I didn't expect to find a wizard when I came out this time. Oh? Wizards? Ning Fengzi looked at Qin Wei again. Ning Fengzi was surprised by the tone and attitude he showed when he was talking to himself just now. Now Sword Du Luo said that Qin Wei was a wizard again, which really proved his own view of Qin Wei. There was a hint of solicitation in his heart. But Qin Wei was after all his apprentice Shui Qingyi's best friend, a person who could be valued by the prince, and his identity must be very special, so he crushed the solicitation from the bottom of his heart. In a blink of an eye, the auction was over. Qin Wei came to the backstage and saw the cold iron spirit and broken sickle held by the waiter. Then hand over the own gold card to the person in charge and pay the amount previously paid. The two things were called into Qin Wei's hands, and he looked at the two things in his hands. Qin Wei just wanted to say that this journey was really exciting. Fortunately, I felt it, otherwise all of this would be wasted. When going out, put two things in the soul guide ring. At the door, Shui Qing was talking with Ning Fengzi, and the two words Qin Wei could be vaguely heard. Shui Qing only made Ning Fengzi what happened six years ago. Ning Fengzi understood, it turns out that Qin Wei is your savior. Shui Qing said, yes, if he hadn't shown the token this time, I didn't know he had come to the imperial capital. Perhaps this is fate. We met today six years ago. At this time, Qin Wei walked out of the auction room. Qin Wei, who had paid the money, felt exhausted physically and mentally, and finally completed the task. Seeing Shui Qing and Ning Fengzi who were greeted with smiling faces, Qin Wei knew that he had to leave Tiando City as soon as possible this time. Otherwise, you will be involved in unnecessary disputes. Although the surface of this Tiando City is calm, the waves are rough in the dark. Came to the two of them just about to say that they want to leave. Shui Qing preemptively said, Brother Wei, this time Dage has prepared some good wines in the palace. You have to come and enjoy your face. Looking at Shui Qing with a smile on her face, what tricks she was playing. Now that you have invited me, then I will give you a face. I want to see what medicine you sell in Calabash. Qin Wei agreed. Since Shui Dage has invited me, then I can't refuse any more. Shui Qing was overjoyed when he heard this, Okay, Brother Wei is really happy. At this time, a person wearing white clothes said something in Ning Fengji's ear. What? It's okay. Listening to Ning Fengji's voice, it seems that something is wrong with sect. Okay, I'll go back right away. Ning Fengzi apologized. I'm sorry, something happened to sect. I originally planned to attend the dinner with Ching. It's going to be a hot water now. I'm leaving now. After speaking, he hurriedly walked towards sect. After Jian Du Luo glanced at Qin Wei, he walked behind Ning Fengzi. Since the teacher has something, let's go first. Shui Qing said to Qin Wei. Qin Wei nodded, then got into the carriage with Shui Qing and drove towards the palace. 